Hello, theory scholars. So in this video, we're going to talk about meter transposition. So what is meter transposition? So in your homework, what this is, is we're essentially, we're taking a rhythm um, that's written in one meter, and we're just going to rewrite that rhythm in an equivalent meter so that it sounds orally identical to what we've got here. So for instance, this first rhythm that we're going to work, it, work with is written in 2-4. We're going to write it so that it sounds exactly the same, but it's in 2-2 time. We're going to try two examples that are in simple time and one example in compound time. All right, so if I've got an example that's in 2-4 time, I could rewrite this in any other simple duper meter. So I could write this in 2-2, but I could also write it in 2-8 or 2-16 or 2-64 if I wanted to get crazy. And the only difference would be all of them have two beats in the measure. The only difference is the beat note is gonna change. So in 2-4 time, my beat note is a quarter note. So 2-4 has two beats, each note's a quarter note. So if I count out this rhythm that I've got here, just a real simple one bar example, I've got one, two, one, and two, end, which are eighth notes. If I wanna rewrite this in two, two times, so it, it sounds exactly the same, then each of my beats now are half notes, so I need to just essentially double all of my rhythmic values. So this rhythm here, if I sing this rhythm, it sounds exactly the same as this rhythm. It's still one, two, one, and two, end, but now the, ryth the rhythmic values are double what they were in the two-four example. So if I wanna take this rhythm that I've got here and rewrite it in two-two time, I just need to double each of these rhythms. So it's kind of helpful um, when you're doing this, maybe just to sing through the rhythm first to get the sound of it in your ears. Um, so I've got the rhythmic counts here um, just to help. Um, so I'm just gonna sing through this rhythm first. So it goes one, two, one, two, and one, and a two, we, and a one. Okay, so I need to write that exact same rhythm in two, two. Okay, so anywhere I've got a quarter note, that's gonna become a half note. So let's see, my first measure, each of those quarter notes are gonna become half notes. Another quarter becomes a half note. I'm gonna double each of those eighth notes because my divisions now are quarter notes, right? So these will become two quarter notes. Eighth note becomes a quarter note. My 16th notes, if I double these up, then these are going to be eighth notes. And the beaming should be exactly the same as it was. We should still be breaking them across the beats. And then if I double my half note, that's gonna make this a whole note. And if I sing this rhythm now, it sounds exactly the same. One, two, one, two, and one, and a two, we, and a one. All right, got it? Let's try another example. Let's go the other way. Um, so, let's see, this example here. So now I'm starting with an example that's in three, two time, and I'm gonna put this into three, eight. So three, two time, this is a simple triple rhythm. So I've got three beats in the measure up here, and each of those beats are half notes, right? So if I were to sing this rhythm that I've got up here, it goes one, two, three, one, and two, and three, end. And if I were to rewrite that exact same rhythm in three, eight time, now I've got three beats, but each of those beats are eighth notes, right? So anywhere I've got a half note, this has to become now an eighth note instead. So essentially we're taking a quarter of the rhythm where we're having it, and then we're having the rhythmic value again, right? To get from three, two to three, eight. And this rhythm then would sound exactly the same. One, two, three, one, and two, and three, end. Okay, so let's give this a shot. So I'm gonna have the values and then have them again, right? So if I've got a whole note here, if I cut it in half, it's a half note. If I cut it in half again, that makes it a quarter note. Um, or I can think of it's two beats in three, two times. So what would two beats be in three, eight time, right? It'd be two, the value of two eighth notes. Here's one beat in three, two times. So one beat in three, eight time would be an eighth note if you wanna think of it that way instead. Um, okay, and then this value here, so I've got a dotted quarter note. So forget about the dot for just a minute. If I just have a quarter note, that would make it a eighth note, right? And then if I have an eighth note again, that makes it a sixteenth note. So this is just a dotted sixteenth note. Oops, add my dot to it. And then, same thing, I take a quarter of an eighth note. That's going to be a cut in half, it'd be a sixteenth, cut in half again would be a 32nd note. My quarter note is going to become a 16th note. It would be one fourth. 
these two eighth notes then are we gonna become 32nd notes, right? Have it, it becomes a 16th. Have it again, it becomes a 32nd. This half note here is gonna become an eighth note. And I should, when I get to the end, be able to add up this measure and make sure that it comes out to a total of three eighth notes, right? So I've got one eighth note here, that's one beat. A sixteenth and two thirty seconds, there is my second beat here. And this here adds up to a thirty second and a dotted sixteenth adds up to another beat. So you can use that just to kind of double check your work, make sure that you've got, you can find all of your three eighth notes worth of beats. Um, here, same thing, dotted rhythm, forget the dot for a second and just have it and have it, right? Have a half note, it becomes a quarter note. You half it again, it becomes an eighth note. So this would be a dotted eighth note here. The quarter note then will become a sixteenth note and the half note will become an eighth note. Or if I wanna instead think through my rhythmic counts, I can also do that, right? So I can count out the rhythm that I've got here. I've got one, three, and that comes out same thing here. So one, three, one, a two, and a three, one, and three. And I could count out exactly the same rhythm and find each of my beats here. Okay, let's give this, let's do one more example. So let's try an example that's in compound time instead. Here it is. So I've got, in this case, a 6-8 example, and I want to rewrite this in 6-4 time. So now remember in compound time, the time signatures are a little different. So it doesn't mean that I have six beats in each of those or eighth notes. Remember in compound time, the time signature tells me about divisions, right? So this tells me that I've got six divisions, and each of those division values are eighth notes. Or each of my beat notes then would be a dotted quarter note because there are three eighth notes in a beat. So each of my beats is a dotted quarter and then my division values are eighth notes instead. So if I were to sing this rhythm in 6-8 or in 6-4 time where now my division values are quarter notes, in either case this rhythm would sound the same. It would be one, two, one lolly, two lolly. Right? Okay, so let's give this a try. So to go from 6, 8 to 6, 4, I need to double all of my values. My eighth notes needs to become quarter notes or dotted quarters become dotted halves. Okay, so that means here if I've got a dotted quarter, this needs to become a dotted half note. And each of these eighth notes then, if I double each of those eighth notes, they become quarter notes. If I double my quarter note, it becomes a half note. I double my eighth note, it becomes a quarter note. Again, forget about the dot for a second. It's a dotted eighth note, but if I double an eighth note, that makes it a quarter note, right? So this is gonna be a dotted quarter note. The 16th, if I double it, would be an eighth. I double the eighth note, it becomes a quarter note. I double the eighth, ooh, no, it becomes a quarter note. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Wrong one. There it is. Double the quarter note. It's a half note. Again, forget the dot for a second. If I double the quarter note, it would be a half note, right? So this would be a dotted half note. And same thing here. I double your half note, you get a whole note. And so I'd have actually a dotted whole note in the last measure. Or if I think through the counts instead, just to kind of double check my work, it would look like this. So my original rhythm was, in 6-8 time, one, two, la, li, one, li, two, ta, li, one, la, two, one. And exactly the same thing here. And I can count up six quarter notes in each of the measure. And each of those beats lines up exactly the same. So this checks out. So there it is. You've got it. So you've got to figure out, the first step then is to figure out what is your beat value. Between the first time signature, what's the beat value in the second time signature, and what kind of math do you have to do to get between those? Do you need to double it? Do you need to have it, quarter it, and so forth, right? So that is meter transposition. Good luck.